everybody, welcome back to Culinary Undertaking. Today I'm going to show you how to make what they call a fatty. I didn't name it, don't ask me. But basically we're going to take a little roll of sausage that you get. We're going to make a little stuffing to put inside it. And then I'm going to show you how to make a, a bacon weave. And we're going to wrap that bacon weave around the sausage. Then we're going to cook it. Ooh, they're really good. Let me show you how to make it. Okay, what I have here is I've got a pound of thick cut bacon. We're going to make our bacon weave out of that. I've got one container of cream cheese. Here's my piece of pork, my little pork. Now this is just regular pork sausage. You could use whatever you want. Um, you can get hot, you can get the sage, you can get the maple, whatever kind of sausage you want. I've also got a little sharp shredded cheese I'm going to use in here. I've got a couple of serrano peppers I'm going to use. And then I'm going to top it off with a little barbecue rub once we get it all put together. Oven's done, but that's for something else. So what we want to do, we want to start with our piece of pork and we want to kind of flatten it out a little bit. Now I have it on here. I'm not going to cook it on this. I just want it for the nonstick uh, little pad that I'm going to use on. So we're going to flatten out our pork a little bit. Then we're going to put our cream cheese and our cheese in there, roll it back up. And you can use whatever you want for this. If you want to use your fingers like I'm doing, if you want to use a spoon, if you want to get out a piece of parchment paper and a rolling pin, whatever you like to do. And I want to keep it kind of in a rectangle shape here. You don't want to go too thin. Definitely you don't want to go any wider than your bacon here. So we'll just kind of flatten that out a little bit. Kind of like that. Let me wash my hands. All right, so our pork's kind of flattened out into a rectangle. I've got my cream cheese. I'm gonna add some regular shredded cheese to it. And again, I'm using shredded cheddar. You can use whatever you want. You wanna put a little pepper jack cheese in here. Whatever kind you wanna put some mozzarella, or some Colby, whatever you like. Also, I'm going to shred up my peppers and mix those in there at the same time. And these are just little serranos I grew up in my backyard. You can use a jalapeno, you can use whatever pepper you want. You can leave the pepper out if you don't want it. So like most of the recipes we've done so far on here that I've showed you, do whatever you want. If there's something you like, add it in here. If there's something you don't like, leave it out. You know, whatever you want to do, make these your own. That is the fun part of cooking. So I add those in there. Now my cream cheese didn't get quite to room temperature, so I'm going to have to fight it a little bit here. But if you have the time to lay yours out ahead of time and let it get softened up to room temperature, it'll work a lot better. Okay, so once you get your cream cheese mixed up, we're just going to add it to our pork here. And just do the best you can to flatten this out without mushing the pork too much more. And the important thing is here is, again, we want to make sure we keep our rectangular shape so this will fit into our bacon weave a little bit better. And this is just filling. It doesn't have to be perfect in here. We're going to roll it up anyway. So as long as it's close, no one's going to know the difference. Once it cooks in here and melts, it'll all be the same. All right, so now our cream cheese is on there. I'm just going to hit this with a little salt and pepper. As much or as little as you want to put in there. But it's going to work for me. And now I'm going to use my mat to sort of help me get this started and we're just going to roll this up sort of like a little roll of sushi and just keep working it. it's going to stick a little but just keep working it it'll go there. 
All right, so there we are. There's our little cheese stuffed pork roll. Now we're just gonna set that aside. Let me wash my hands and then I'll show you how we're gonna make our bacon weave to wrap this with. Okay, like I mentioned, I've just got one pound of thick sliced bacon here. And you can see I've already got five strips laid out. And to make our weave is really, really easy. You just take another piece of bacon and you wanna lay as many strips out as it's gonna to take to equal the length of one. And then what you wanna do is just start wherever you want and just take every other strip Peel it back like that. I'm gonna start in the middle. You can start, some people start at the end. Fold that back over. And now we're gonna go the opposite pieces. Now again, go back to the other two. Come back over here, do the same thing. Now I'm doing this on a piece of parchment paper and it's gonna make rolling this a lot easier. Kind of like we use the mat to use that to roll up the roll. This is gonna help us roll up our bacon. Should get it all the way around our little fatty there. And that's it. Now we have a nice bacon weave, extra piece of bacon. Now we just want to get our roll onto the middle of our weave and wrap it up. And make sure you give yourself enough room so we can tuck the ends and the ends will cover with our bacon here. Get our bacon, and ideally you want to end with a bacon seam on the bottom. There we go. So now our seam is on the bottom. Just take the ends and tuck those around nice and neat. As neat as you can for bacon anyway. And that's all there is to that. Then let me wash my hands. I'm going to hit this with a little bit of our seasoning on there and then it goes straight onto the smoker. Okay, so I've just got a little bit of generic barbecue sauce kind of seasoning here. I'm going to sprinkle on here. Use whatever you want. Whatever your favorite kind of rub or seasoning is. We're just going to give it a nice little coat like that. Get the sides a little bit. Now I have the smoker set to 350. Obviously you can do this in your oven. If you do this in your oven I would highly suggest that you get a baking sheet like this with one of those baking racks on the top. And that way your bacon will sit up off the bottom and it'll get crispy on the bottom and all the way around the sides. So when I put this on the smoker, it's going to be right on the grilling grate. I'm not going to put it on a, on a tray or anything. It's going to sit right on the grill. We're going to cook this. Keep an eye on it. You want to cook it to an internal temp of 165. So we'll be checking that. And I'll let you know how long that takes. I'm guessing probably somewhere between an hour, hour and a half. And I'll just keep an eye on it. So we'll get this little guy on there. And when he's done, I'll bring you back and show you what it looks like. Okay, I just took the temp on our fatty and it's done. So let's go take a look at it. I'll show you how it looked on the smoker. Good. 
All right, let's get this in the house to cool. And in a few minutes, we'll cut it open and dig in. All right, here we are, we're back. It's cooled down. I had it on the smoker for about an hour and 20 minutes. I pulled it off and it's been now uh, 10 or 15 minutes. It's been sitting here cooling down. But look at that. <clears throat> let's cut her open and see what it's like. I've made these before, so I kind of know what to expect. One thing I'm noticing is it looks a little deflated than my other ones have. Ooh, and there you can see there's all the cheese and the sausage in there. I think the reason it's deflated is this time I bought sort of a really expensive um, sausage log, my little fatty. Normally I buy the, the bigger name brand one that's a little bit more expensive and it, I think it's got less fat in it and it keeps it shaped a little better. But more important than that, let's see how this thing tastes. And I, even though I've made these before, I don't think I've ever made the same kind twice. I always mix up the cheese. Sometimes it's pepper, sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's hot sausage, sometimes it's regular. So, like I say, play around with it, make what you like. Ooh, sausage tastes good. And the crispy bacon, the cheese is not real spicy, even though I put two of those serranos in there, didn't make it hot. Ooh, but that's pretty good. So if you've never made a bacon wrap fatty, I highly recommend you try it. You saw there wasn't much to it, but they're really good. You can make two or three of these, make them as a dinner. You can make one, have it as like a little snack or an appetizer, take to a party. There's all kinds of uses for it, but definitely give this a try. Let me know what you think. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Mm-hmm.